All right, the 2016 football season opener is finally here. Bridgewater with a tough start to the schedule that begins at Gettysburg. Coach, can you talk first a little bit about the offensive side of the ball and who we can expect to see under center? Well, I, we're going to be challenged offensively by a good football team that we didn't score a lot of points on a year ago. We'll go with Brendan Metterie under the center. Um, he's been in the program here for three This is his third year. He hasn't played. Uh, it's a position that experience counts, but, but he's going to get it under fire. I think he brings athleticism to the field, and I think he does some things with his feet and his arm that can challenge a defense. You know, apart from Keith Jennings, really there isn't a lot of returning statistical output on offense, but it sounds like some players with speed, some players with a lot of talent. What else, without getting too specific, can you tell us about what we'll see in offense? Well, I think what we've gotten into offensively, uh, I, I've been pleased with one of the positions that has stayed healthy is our offensive line. I think we're going to throw some size at people, and I'm a team that's not too proud to run the football. Uh, I think you, if you can do that effectively, you can shorten a game, you can take pressure off your defense, and to try to get control of the line of scrimmage with those people will be important. You're right, at the running back position and certainly at the wide receiver position, there's, there is no statistical uh, comeback right now. You know, kids are, are either graduated or left the program. And, but I do think this, and kids like Alex Galloway and Rayvon Johnson and some of the young guys that we are put, have at the running back position, you know, we have kids that can move their feet. And anytime you put speed in space, I, I think you, you can be dangerous on a football field. And on the other side of the ball, your defense last year statistically, I think, was the best in the league over eight games. But it was two of those wing option offenses that really gave you trouble. One of them is here in Gettysburg. You know, what, what are you looking to do differently this year? And well, certainly of, going into a first game, we're going to have to tackle better. You know, you know, a year ago, you don't give up 540 yards rushing and, and, and be a good tackling football team, and we weren't. Uh, I think we've spent a, a solid amount of time in our summer ball, really, in just specific Gettysburg uh, preparation. I think when you get into up-tempo option football teams that demands great discipline, you know, we're going to need that. Uh, we're not real big across, or to have a lot of depth across our defensive front, but the, and the kids we have there are going to have to hold up and play. And certainly when you play Gettysburg, you've got to tackle in space. Uh, they're very efficient at what they do. And, Certainly they can look at a model a year ago that Bridgewater didn't have an answer for, and I hope we do this year. It'll be a good challenge for us. I think our perimeter people on defense run well enough that they'll get to where they need to be, and they got to wrap up and tackle, or there's going to come a time, even though football in this day and age can be a finesse game on a certain level, there's a time you're going to have to be physical too, and that'll be a challenge for a group that doesn't have great size. And a lot of those players last year were really playing their first significant action in that game against Gettysburg. Now you've got eight people coming back on that side of the ball with at least some starting experience. Who are some of the younger players that now you're looking to take a step forward on defense? And well, I, I think the two seniors, you know, J.P. Utz and, and Davey Hardesty are kind of linchpins on that. Uh, you know, Joe Cellini had a great summer, you know, as a kid that was very productive as a freshman, probably put on some bad weight as a sophomore, and really in an interior position, he's really become a good uh, two-technique player for us on the inside. So I think if we can kind of secure that line of scrimmage, once you get it to the perimeter, you know, the Tyler Millers, uh, the Chance Morrises, uh, the Devontae Womack, so there's a group of them that can run, and if we can get him going sideways and chase and tackle, I think we'll be in a good position. You know, Gettysburg is playing a new quarterback too, and uh, they lost a, that quarterback that played very well against us a year ago, played well throughout the season, so they're going to be dealing with some of the same issues, and my hope is in a quarterback-centric game, we can take away the run and, and force somebody that doesn't have a lot of experience in the position to throw the football. And just finally, our department did have really unfortunate news yesterday that you know, Bill Phipps, who's done games for the last 20 years, passed away after his battle with cancer. So we'll have someone new on the mic this year with Carl Magenhofer. But can you just talk a little bit about what Bill has meant to the program? Well, I think as I told people, and I, and I repeat myself too much, uh, at this level, you know, I don't consider the media the bane of my existence, like some of the millionaire Division I people do, that this is something they have to do. I think, you know, when Bill came around, he was always prepared. Uh, he had the ability to make you feel big time in the small time. But I also think uh, it's a voice. It's a voice that's associated with Bridgewater Athletics, and it always will be. Uh, I think uh, I found, uh, unfortunately, you get to my age, I've been through this before with, with quality people and friends. and. I've also found that with time, uh, your memory gets very selective, and certainly I have some great memories, you know, with Bill Phipps. Uh, gave me an archive about 10 years ago of cassette tapes that I really need to kind of get transferred, figure out how to transfer them over because, you know, it's a voice that uh, 
I always hear in the back of my head and periodically it wouldn't be, be kind of neat to pull it up on a computer and remind myself of the good times that we shared. And hopefully it's some motivation for the staff this weekend who've worked with them for so long and you know, good luck up there at Gettysburg. And it, it is. It, it's motivation for me and uh, I try to honor Bill Phipps with my preparation and performance because his was always Division One, regardless of what level we're playing at.